Welcome to my vloggins. I'm Joshua Kemble. I'm an art director, uh, illustrator, graphic designer, and cartoonist who's been working in the industry for about uh, 15 years. And when I say in the industry, <laughs> it sounds so suspicious because it's like, what industry? In, in the creative industry. So basically, I've, I've been working in creative for over 15 years. Um, in different art departments, uh, freelance. I ran my own freelance business for about 15 years. Uh, that was not freelance. Like a lot of people flippantly say freelance. It was like freelance, like that was my sole support for a long time. And you're gonna notice while I'm doing this video, like I'm gonna be rubbing my eyes and my nose and stuff like that, which I know you're not supposed to do around COVID time. But right now it's also springtime and I live in, you know, a desert area. And so, uh, yeah, so it's, <laughs> unfortunately, like, one of the byproducts of that is uh, massive, mad, terrible allergies. All right, so um, this is the vloggins where I uh, basically talk about my life, about different things that I'm thinking about as an artist, and, uh, and, and basically uh, just document the whole process of working on art with the goal of kind of hopefully in theory like kind of keeping myself on track with my art projects and stuff like that so right now i have two big things on my plate um i mean well three big things uh one is like my day job where i work as an art director like that's a bread and butter thing that basically is how i make my living um that's actually what i'm doing right now is heading to work and uh well okay a crazy uh, race car driver guy when I was changing lanes. <laughs> can you hear him? I hope you guys can hear him. Anyhow, so, um, so yeah, so crazy guy who almost tried to kill me aside, uh, let's see here. Um, so I have three main things that I'm kind of focused on. And I, by the way, before I, I'm going to try to start these videos, especially the commute ones, um, just sort of framing it with what the video is potentially going to be about. It's, it's like a theme that I can kind of riff on. Um, first, uh, first I'll, I'll also mention uh, why I do these videos on my long commute is I commute about three hours a day. Um, and so, like I said about those main three uh, jobs that I have, the three concerns I have, like the primary one is like my day job is something that's really important provides for my family. It, uh, it basically is, is my main sustenance right now um, for how I make a living as an artist. And I really enjoy it, actually. I enjoy working as an art director. I enjoy the challenges and, the, uh, and, and working with creative teams and kind of accomplishing goals as like a group project. I think it's a very exciting thing um, as an artist to kind of be able to do. And I feel really fortunate to have that position so that's number one, is, uh, you know, I definitely need to keep my brain and my mind and my body in shape so that I'm not, um, you know, basically so that I'm giving value, as much value as I have to offer uh, to the company that I work for. So, that being said, none of these vlogs are going to be the opinion or anything of that company because that I very much separate from my my daily life but okay so what is this video going to be about I think today it's going to be about sort of auditing um, and I talked on a video a little bit ago about uh, triaging like mental tasks and like kind of list making and stuff like that but right now I'm just going to do like a little self audit um, and, and, and sort of assess uh, what's my highest priority um, right now and, and that's gonna help me when I get home from like a long day at work to be motivated to get done what I need to get done and to properly target uh, my resources for my time and stuff like that. And uh, you guys will find this too, like if you start working in, in creative, um, a lot of the people who follow my, my vlogs are already creative artists, graphic designers, illustrators, stuff like that. You're gonna find that it, you know, no matter what kind of job you have, day job 
um, even if that ends up being being created from home. Uh, that that juggling uh, juggling multiple projects and trying to kind of figure out what to prioritize is like a, a big part of your uh, of your job as a creative. So that being said, uh, I'm going to kind of get into it. So of those others, like the other three, the other two of the three, because I mentioned my day job, so that's that's my my first priority. Number two is my graphic novel. Um, I'm working on a series of two graphic novels about faith and mental illness that are very personal stories about some pretty hard life experiences that I went through and uh, what sort of led me to um, uh, growing my faith and actually, um, you know, like a pretty big life change for me. And so, uh, and, it, and it goes through the path of that as well as like gets into the weeds and like into pretty heavy detail about um, mental illness, um, about panic disorder, about relationships, about about things like what they look like under like in, in, you know given real scrutiny. Um, what do these things look like in like a slice of life? A um, very structured story that I think touches on some really important things, especially in this day and age when everybody's like locked down and kind of stuck in their proverbial houses and uh, and and you know, worried about, like, a lot of us, um, are kind of worried about what's going to happen next week or tomorrow, like, it's, it's a really volatile time where it's really hard to kind of know what's going to happen next, and so I, I've written two stories, uh, to kind of address some core issues that I think are really important, and hopefully tell, like, what I think is a pretty beautiful story, so that's my second big, uh, job is getting book two done. Book one, uh, is available right now on Amazon. Um, it's also available on all, pretty much all book marketplaces online. Um, you can also uh, request that your local comic shop order a copy of it, uh, two stories, book one by Joshua Kemble, um, and they should be able to find it and order it. Um, it's, it's likely going to be more, uh, it's going to be more likely that it's ordered um, you know, from like an indie shop because it's out from Marcosia, which is a great, wonderful uh, UK publisher, but um, but also is a small press publisher. And so you definitely would want to, the story you requested from, make sure they're friendly to small press. Um, let's see. Okay. So uh, um, number three, and by the way, what I'm doing right now is heading to work. So um, that's, that's pretty much it. My long commute to work is when I'm going to try to film these videos and then maybe on my way back, um, depending. So, so number three is, uh, is this pitch. Um, my sister wrote a really excellent script and, uh, it, it takes place in, uh, Victorian England and it's very compelling and interesting. And, um, so we're doing, I'm doing a five page pitch and I'm trying to build that, um, for her so that we can have my literary agent shopping that around while I'm working on book two of two stories. But, but the point of getting that out of the way and done is so that I can get back to focusing on my main book. Um, I try not to add too many projects on top of that. Like I feel like working on the graphic novel is kind of my sole focus. Um, especially two stories outside of my day job, um, where I get plenty of, uh, professional, um, commercial work and it's like you know that that's basically that's my goal as an artist is like I, I get that um itch scratched or whatever like at, at my day job I'm doing uh commercial work and doing uh, work for hire and, and getting to illustrate and do graphic design and all sorts of fun stuff um so the idea um is that when I'm at home I should be focusing on my family and then on my uh, on, on my other projects. Um, actually, I'm going to add a fourth thing to this list, and this one's fun. This is like hobby kind of thing. Um, I'm also recording an album, um, and I'm like, I finished uh, on the last vloggings. I kind of uh, went through a little bit of the process of like sort of tracking out a verse. Um, and the fun thing about writing and recording at the same time is like, I'm not really sure what direction it's going to go. Um, from where it's 
minutes at, but I have about 30 seconds of the second song uh, tracked and, and kind of starting to work itself out. Um, and I'm pretty happy with how it's going, but I have no idea where the song itself is going to go. So that'll be interesting to kind of figure out and sort of know what's going on too with that. So um, that's all stuff that's on my mind. And what I've been thinking about today, oh, and then I also do a show called The Art Casters with um, Scott Circland. And uh, we're doing, um, let's see, so I need a guest for uh, Thursdays. And so I reached out to a friend of mine to see if they'd be interested in being on. And hopefully they'll get back to me today and let me know um, so that I can kind of check that off the to-do list. Um, uh, yesterday also was really busy because we're doing... Corey Kerr and I are doing a show called the Indie Review Show. Um, it's got its own YouTube channel. We're not super happy with the views that it's receiving um, so far, and we're kind of questioning whether is the right call to have it hosted on those channels. So, anyhow, so so um, like on its own channel, or if, if we should actually host it on our channels, um, so that we can kind of pull from our our existing audience. Um, and so, uh, while we're going through that kind of questioning phase about it, um, I'd encourage people to go check it out, uh, like maybe after you see this video, go to irsagency.com. We actually got that URL, um, and we are basically, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing that. So, so yeah, so there's that. Um, let's see. So the reason I'm bringing all these things up is uh, is that I'm like I'm kind of trying to figure out in my head uh, what to target my resources on, and I think I've made the right call in, in thinking that it should be the pitch pages. Um, I'm, I'm very close to done with those. I have about uh, one and three quarters pages left to draw, and um, and they're final pages, so. Once those are done, they'll be out in the ether being shopped around to be a future problem that I have to solve. <laughs> um, because once it's like kind of being shopped around, if it gets picked up for publication, then we'll have to kind of reassess and sort of figure out um, how we're going to accomplish it. All right, so um, in the meantime, uh, I am really aching to get back to two stories and book two. Um, it, it's it's a fun book to write. It's it's a hard, harrowing book to write that gets into some pretty heavy stuff like um, post traumatic stress disorder and all sorts of just crazy heavy stuff um, like you know being a victim of violent crime and uh, and sort of like um, finding faith, which is like they're all very like seedy. Um, kind of hard to digest topics and I think as a as an indie cartoonist who does memoir it's like uh it's very like rich subject matter to play with and to write uh, from and so I I really was uh quite excited about the progress I was making on that and where I was at and uh and it's 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 a weird thing because I'm also really excited about this pitch and this new script um, but I really do want to get that off my plate. So my goal tonight um, is to kind of get that done. And uh, I think that's the right order of priority is like if I, if I can, I mean, obviously I'm not going to finish it tonight, but if I can get a chunk of that done um, or stay consistent with doing those pages, um, there's a higher likelihood that, uh, that I can get back to two stories as a reward. So... We'll see how that goes. Um, I will also say, uh, let's see. Um, hang on a sec. We're, we're driving. It is like a relatively beautiful day today. Um, it's just uh, springtime does not uh, do me any favors when it comes to um, allergies and the allergy season. 
I will say we got my wife and I on one of the earlier vlogs I showed you we got our vaccines and so far um, like no real side effects uh, now keep in mind it's the Moderna vaccine and so we got shot number one and so far the only side effect either of us felt was just like a bruised shoulder which by the way is still slightly sore but not like entirely sore um, and it's been since, I think we got that done Saturday. Um, and so it's not, not too bad. Um, uh, let's see here. So what I'm thinking is, I'll, uh, we also have family staying with us as well. Um, and, uh, and so that's going to be kind of interesting too. So my priorities today, I think, are to hang out with the family for a little bit, um, to possibly, uh, <clears throat> let's see, um, to possibly, like, after that, um, you know, obviously, I usually do bath time, uh, for my son, like, make sure my son has his bath, um, gets his teeth done, all that stuff, and then, uh, do books with Ben, which is pretty exciting, because for Easter, we got him a bunch of the Dogman books, um, a bunch more of those, he has one that he absolutely loves, they're really good books, actually. They're really good comics by Dave Pilkey. Um, and he's actually a really excellent kids book artist, too. He does this series called Dragon, which um, uh, which are amazing. And I found out after doing a short comic where I had a character named Dragon, and I think I called it, like, Dragon Learns to Share. Um, but uh, but it, quite, quite shortly after that, I ended up stumbling upon upon uh, Dave Pilkey doing these dragon books for like Scholastic and they're so good. Um, very silly books but I think his humor and his sense of humor is really good um, for like a growing mind and stuff like that. So I'll hopefully do book time with Ben and then um, and then we'll see we'll see where where the day leads um, but but I would like to do like a live stream tonight ideally because I think one of the things that um, I love about this channel uh, is is are the live streams I like I really enjoy doing um, my live streams randomly at night with the night gang and I and I do intend to try to get back to doing that um, uh, like you know on a on a semi daily basis um, but the downside of that is like when we have family in town and stuff like that there's a lot of noise around the house and so it's it's kind of hard to get like uh, silence in order to get these things done I also have to adjust my um let me see if I can adjust my my thing to make sure that uh, hopefully the um, the chargers in okay on my on my camera um all right well so now right now i'm stuck behind a giant semi truck which is a lot of fun so yeah so like um yeah i i've been enjoying the live streams it's kind of fun it's kind of like art school hanging out with other artists and stuff like that um and uh, it also provides like a really good time to work on pages and get art done. And so I am hoping to kind of get those going as well. Um, it's interesting though, because when you're doing live streaming and stuff, it's like uh, on one hand, you get a lot of fulfillment from kind of hanging out with other artists and kind of getting a lot done. On the downside of it, it's like, you know, uh, usually you'll be listening to something or enriching your mind and kind of making that sort of thing happen. Um, you know, where you're listening to like a podcast or an audiobook and you're sort of feeding your intellectual side uh, while you're working. And so you kind of do miss out on that side. So you gain in getting like a lot of really cool conversations. You miss out in, in kind of not being able to like listen to um, audio books, or in my case, like, I've gone down this rabbit hole of, uh, videos of scam baiters on YouTube, which, which are pretty fun, um, but, uh, but I do think, like, at, at the end of the day, it's kind of more of a win-win to, like, have these hangouts with, um, with people who are, are, are pretty much online friends, and, and be able to kind of, uh, also kill two birds with one stone, so you're generating content, 
you're enjoying hanging out with people and at the same time like you're able to make art so yeah so there's that um those are all kind of things that are on my mind recently I will say the weekend's been pretty fun um Benji was really excited because his aunt is in town and his aunt is like one of his favorite people um and his grandma is also staying with us so he's getting like a lot of like hangout time and stuff like that with the, with the family which is which is really excellent um for him to get to know family to be able to kind of have these hangout times and uh and also I think during COVID it's like he literally has just seen me and his mom for like about a year and then occasionally gets these interspersed moments to be able to see other people so it's nice to see him being able to see um, people outside of his immediate family um, let's see The song I'm thinking, because I'd like to make more progress on that song too, but I think that's kind of uh, secondary to trying to get these pages done. Um, uh, but I do want to work in the song so I don't drop the ball on it. Because uh, my goal is, you know, by the end of the year to put out uh, a second album. Um, I want to try just as like a little fun side project to be putting out uh, two albums a year. My first album was The Bottle of Better Than, which you can check out on like Spotify or, uh, you know, you can even look up and look it up on YouTube, The Bottle of Better Than by Josh McKemple. And I think there's like a playlist somewhere of like all the songs. Um, and you can buy it on iTunes or Apple Music if it's something that interests you. But that was a project I did at the beginning of COVID. And I realized after that, like, I want to be writing music. Um, a lot because it's something I enjoy so that's almost like my hobby like the way I view that um, is I, like for me I'm a creative person so like I would rather be nine times out of ten I'm way more fulfilled having created something even if it's not something that like financially is rewarding um, than just consuming something because um, I feel like I spend a lot of time um, you know fighting this, this darker side of me that wants to just consume things and, and not create things. And whenever I go that route of just like watching a bunch of TV or, uh, you know, digesting a bunch of uh, content from other people, unless it's while I'm working, it, it can be really uh, problematic and like, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it can just be really problematic. That's basically the best way to put it. Um, I am excited about Thursday. It's always fun uh, to hang out with Scott Circland, and so that should be pretty awesome. Um, that's when we do art casters, and uh, it's my turn to have to find a guest. Um, our last one was excellent. He, uh, we, we had a really excellent comic book colorist on um and they were like an art director in like some pretty some pretty big companies and like it was just a really fascinating conversation um but yeah it, it, it uh it's just brought to my mind like the importance of uh of like making sure that we're creating and not just consuming um i feel like that'll be a recurring theme on these vlogs because that's something I really endeavor to do as a creative even if it's these videos even if it's a video on my commute I feel like using this time uh, commuting to create something um, is, is a much better use of my time than a lot of things I could be doing on these drives um, we also have our Bible study tonight and so there's that as well um, my wife and I, like, sort of, we've, we've started, like, our, uh, with, with a couple of friends, like, a little stream, and not a stream, well, it is a, a stream, it's like a live streamed, um, um, I guess stream would be bad, a bad way to put it, um, it's funny because I'm so used to, well, I guess it is a live stream, even if it's not, like, recorded, 
because in this case this is a live stream that goes to my YouTube in that case it's just basically like a live hangout um, uh, where we meet up with some other believers and uh, we talk about um, God and stuff like that and and uh, just kind of pray for each other and stuff like that so um, you know you could call it church I guess because it's like I, I guess the definition of church biblically is like you know where one or more people gather like the Holy Spirit is there and so that is the church the church is the people um, and so I guess I should say church so we have church tonight um, but it's not like a corporate church and I think that's uh, actually pretty enriching and cool um, let's see so uh, so that's something else I gotta do tonight I gotta think how am I going to do uh, at least a panel of the next page um, I'm hoping if I could knock out two that would be ideal um, and for that pitch um, and then on top of that like you know do my day job do my hour and a half commute home and uh, you know all of that fun stuff so that's all stuff that's on my mind right now um, I'm wondering if I've tapped everything in my brain um, uh, let's see um, hold on a sec Yeah, so I think that might actually do it for, for this, uh, at least beginning part of the stream. I'm, I'm not sure if I'll end up streaming on my way home. I probably will. But for now, like at the midway point, a lot of people won't watch the entire videos if it's like an hour long. So I am curious, like for you as a creative, um, you know, like right now, what is your, uh, what is your highest priority like what is your highest priority to get done and if you struggle answering that question um, it might be a good idea to kind of assess uh, do, do a quick um, uh, audit of your own uh, work habits and stuff like that and in your own goals and kind of try to uh, figure out what within that like is the highest priority thing that also helps outside of like um, art and stuff like that, like with finances and things like that. Um, one thing that's really helped my wife and I this year uh, in, in, is the past few years we've, our, our highest priority goal was to, um, and my, my, forgive me, my, um, my allergies are going nuts, but my highest priority goal was for us to get out of debt. Um, there was some lingering debt from some of the, actually from some of the events that I write about in book two of uh, Quarterly Stories, which is in progress, book one, which you can get on Amazon. <laughs> and if you haven't yet, you should get it. Um, if you have a friend who'd like it and you've read it, get one for them. Um, it's an indie comic and it's like, uh, it's really um, important to kind of support these things because otherwise they fade away. Um, and and that's just the cold reality of like book sales. Um, although I will say that's one thing that is another topic that I should get into. Um, oh, first let me finish that thought. Um, so my wife and I, like we decided to get out of credit debt. We had accrued, uh, quite a lot of credit debt. I think it was like $20,000 in credit debt, which, which is not a good amount to be in the whole um, for credit, it's hard to crawl out of that, but we basically targeted our credit and uh, lived way below our means um, uh, for quite a bit, just trying to like target and pay off um, our credit cards and like sort of split our cards into like zero interest, split our debt into zero interest cards that we just, just bounce to a different zero interest card and just stayed consistent paying about like a certain amount more every month like towards the lowest of the debt um, and then when we pay that off we roll that payment into the next one and so on um, and we're at zero and we started that like a couple years back and it's kind of unbelievable but we actually accomplished it now if we had had like 50 goals financially 
um, or we have like a main four, like like I was talking about today, I have like four goals. Um, if we had spent all our resources like split four ways, um, it would have been, we, we would get it done in a quarter of the time, or sorry, it would take us uh, three three quarters of the time. Um, like, it would take us seventy five percent times whatever time it took us. So I guess I'm I'm rambling, and I'm, I'm uh, I guess my point is it would take like <laughs> I'm bad with math, but the point is it would take quite a long time. Um, uh, if we had just gotten like, you know, had like a quarter of the focus on getting it done as opposed to the whole. So, uh, you know, it, it literally, um, would have probably taken about three times longer. And so I think that's something to keep in mind. Now we've hit some crazy traffic. Um, and this is why the commute is, can be really bad. You'll notice that the car has, has stopped almost entirely. So, while we're at this beautiful stop and pondering existence and I'm at zero miles per hour, um, yeah, like it, it, uh, it can be a really important thing to kind of work out and figure out. Let's see what we've got here. I'm not quite sure if this is moving at all or if we need to just get off the road. Um, it does look like it might potentially move. Um, let's see what it says. 55 mile per hour will be enforced. Interesting. Okay, we're, we, we're in really crazy traffic. All right, so I probably should go and like text uh, where I'm heading uh, just to let them know I'm probably gonna be late because I'm at zero miles per hour. So uh, that being said, uh, I will probably see you guys toward the end of my commute when I'm heading home, but I hope I still, like right now, to future me, I, I just hope I'm still uh, energetic and pumped and ready to get uh, pages done and get art done, uh, because I do think it's important. So anyhow, let me know also in the comments section, and if you guys haven't yet, hit subscribe, hit that bell. Uh, you know, uh, that'll give you notifications whenever, uh, I tend to do live streams as well. And so that's helpful for the live stream. So you know whether to jump on or not. Um, cause I, I do them at odd times, especially very late at night. And, uh, and yeah, um, thanks, thanks for watching and, and definitely, uh, leave a comment and let me know what your highest priority task is right now. Um, if you feel like it, I think that might be a good exercise for you to do. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have more of this or if this is what goes live. Um, so yeah, uh, have a good day and I will see you guys in a bit.